Hi, I'm Stacy, and welcome from Office to Table. Today, we're having a burger bash, so stick with me as I show you how to make some easy and delish hamburgers. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is caramelize our onions. People think this is difficult, and actually, it's super easy. The only thing you need is a little bit of time and patience, and the result is amazing. Caramelized onions have that great smoky flavor that tastes so delicious on burgers. And here's all you have to do. You coat a pan with a little bit of olive oil and butter, Cut up some onions and throw them in there. Stir them a couple times, a little bit of salt, probably about 25 minutes, and that is it. Low to medium heat, it's super easy. You can find all the details in from office to table.com. But basically, you just use a couple of these big white or yellow onions, slice them up, and you put them in the pan. And that's it, and the result is so delicious. Now, chopping onions. This is probably the hardest part. You don't wanna be crying with those stingy eyes. I know, I get it. I have tried everything. I put on my son's swim goggles. I have lit a candle in the kitchen. Nothing works, but I have found these goggles online. These are called onion goggles tear free. Find them, they're amazing. I think I got them on like Amazon or something. They have this suction inside. You put them on, they suck to your face, but I'm telling you they work and you will not cry at all. So let's get our goggles, let's cut up our onions, and we'll throw them in the pan. Ready to go. Okay, the onions are on the stove getting all nice and caramelized and juicy. And now we're gonna season up our hamburger patties before we put them on the grill. Everyone seasons their burgers differently. I think if you got really good quality meat, you do not need to season them too much. You wanna really be able to taste the burger. So I use a Lowry seasoning salt, a little bit of garlic salt, and a little bit of dried parsley flakes. They add a nice little tenderizing and a nice little flavor, but still you're able to really just taste the burger. And since we're gonna be putting on some caramelized onions, possibly some cheddar cheese, you just wanna keep it as light as possible. So let's season up this meat and get them on the grill. Okay, these onions are sizzling away. They smell delicious. And now I'm gonna cook these burgers. Now since I'm only cooking for my kids tonight, I'm not gonna grill these outside on the big barbecue. I'm just gonna grill them in here on the grill pan. Still gonna have the same delicious taste, but it's only gonna take me about 30 minutes to cook this entire dinner and a lot less cleanup. So stick with me as we grill these burgers on the pan. Okay, so our burgers are being cooked, our onions are sizzling, we are almost ready. Buns, buns are a very personal choice. My family likes these brioche buns. They're kind of a thicker egg bread bun that you can get usually at any local like bakery or even in the supermarkets now. You can use white buns, wheat buns, whatever you like. Some people do low carb and they just want to wrap their burger in lettuce. That's fine too. Then you have to decide whether you want to toast your buns. If you do, try to toast them probably at like five minutes before you're ready to serve your meal so they're nice and crispy. So let's get these buns in the toaster and I'll meet you back at the burgers. Okay, I just flipped the burgers. The onions are cooking really nicely. Now here is one tip about burgers. Do not cook on them. That lets out all the delicious juices. So you want to make sure you flip the burgers and you just leave them alone. Okay, everything is done and it is time to assemble. So the burgers are done. Make sure you cook them to your family's desired wellness. You can check the site for temperatures and sort of some guidelines. And the caramelized onions are done and they smell amazing. Now the thing about onions is that they will get more brown as you cook them longer. So choose whatever color, golden brown, dark brown, whatever flavoring that you like. And now we are going to assemble. So for the kids, I usually just do meat, lettuce, tomato, and bun. That is what most kids like. If they want cheese, great. If not, my kids tend to just like it plain. So that is our kid plate. Now for the grown-ups, I do meat, and then I smother on these caramelized onions with a little bit of this aged cheddar cheese. This is just sort of like a really salty, delicious, rich cheese that goes so well with these caramelized onions. So what I do is I put maybe one or two pieces of the cheese on top, and I'm gonna smother the hot onions right on top, and it just helps everything get all melted and gooey and so delicious. This is definitely a messy, delicious meal, but I promise you will love it, and it's so easy. People would think you were slaving over this in the kitchen and really it took us like less than 30 minutes. So here we have our adult burger. You can see the onions are still steaming. I'm gonna put the top on there and there we have it. Our caramelized onions burgers for the adults and for the kids.
I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Thanks so much for cooking with me today. Don't forget to sign on to our blog from office to table.com and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel from office to table.